Each day, an estimated 8 million pieces of plastic invade our oceans. Now, according to the World Economic Forum, our waterways are currently choking in 75 to 199 million tonnes of plastic. A 29-year-old Dutch entrepreneur is on a relentless mission to wipe out 90% of that plastic pollution by the year 2040. Boyan Slat is the CEO and founder of the Ocean Cleanup. That's a non-profit organization deploying cutting-edge technology to save our rivers and seas. And he explains how the company plans to achieve this ambitious goal. But to rid the oceans of plastic, we need to do two things. We need to stop more plastic from getting into the ocean, but we also need to clean up the plastic that's already out there, the legacy pollution. And by far the largest accumulation is the so-called Great Pacific Garbage Patch between Hawaii and California. Uh, it's three times the size of France. And uh, to clean that up, we, uh, we have a solution that's basically 50% hardware, 50% software. So on the hardware side, we have this huge U-shaped floating barrier that's two and a half kilometers in length which which we can sweep an area the size of a football field every five seconds. But then, of course, if we would just randomly go through the ocean, it wouldn't be very effective. So we also have advanced uh, computer models to guide us to intelligently um, determine how, what the best route is through the garbage patch to tackle what we call hotspots. So that, um, you know, if all goes well, we can actually clean up the patch in about 10 years. But the first thing we really need is to complete our first 20 rivers. Those are the projects that are currently ongoing um, and we really need to we want to nail those so that we exactly know how to do it to to make mistakes now so that we don't have to make mistakes with a thousand rivers right so that, that's kind of the idea first start small before we go big um, and you know, once we have that, it, it, I think the bottleneck will be the relationships with the governments. You're talking about you know, many cities. Um, a, a lot of them uh, have you know, many priorities, right, in, in these upcoming economies. Uh, so to make sure we you know, have a, a sufficient speed when it comes to you know, getting the contracts in place, getting the you know, the permits, as well as the operational cost coverage, we want that to be local. Uh, I, I think that's going to be. Uh, the main bottleneck. At the same time, you know, we look for for companies, for individuals to to partner with us, uh, because of course, um, you know, we, we, the funding is required to actually build the hardware and to to deploy that. So um, yeah, but first things first, first completing those twenty rivers, and then but you know, by the end of the year, we hope to be ready to to start scaling to uh, you know the next hundred rivers, and then ultimately, if we've done hundred rivers, I think we can also do a thousand.